since a lot of folks on YouTube like to do videos apparently outside, I decided why not do one from the comfort, comfort of the Berlin forest. Um, we spend so much time in front of screens and, um, um, well, you're probably watching this on a screen. But let me try to talk some technology while taking a stroll through my uh, local forest in fall. It's beautiful here, so um, that's something you need, you need to dedicate some time to try and exit your house, at least remove yourself from the big old screen and watch the small screen in the forest. But why am I here? What, what am I going to try to talk about? So I would like to talk to you about um, CloudFormation, AWS CloudFormation. So on my last video, you've actually seen me talk about uh, infrastructure as code and why is that important? Why should you run your infrastructure, infrastructure through code on the cloud? And today I'm going to talk about AWS CloudFormation. And CloudFormation is this um, framework, this service that exists. It's the OG infrastructure as code on AWS. It's basically a service which allows you to write your infrastructure as well, code, right? And uh, pass it on to AWS and it will create stuff for you. Let's take an example. So let's say I want to create an EC2 instance or I want to create a bunch of EC2 instances and a load balancer and an S3 bucket. Now, I can go ahead and click a bunch of buttons and do that for me. That's perfectly fine. That would work. That's potentially easy in the beginning. But let's say I want to be able to repeat that. Let's say I want to um, implement a testing environment with the same settings or with a similar type of instances, just smaller. Or if I want to potentially make sure that any changes put into my system are tested through infrastructure code. Uh, and I'll probably put on some slides or something on my on this side. So um, yeah, I don't have them in the forest, as you might imagine. So um, how would you do that? Well, clicking is one option, but the other option is to approach it through code. So I want to create this EC2 instance. I can op open up my favorite text editor, the best text editor, which is Vim. <laughs> you can open up any text editor you want. Open up your text editor uh, and start writing some code. Now, CloudFormation supports both JSON and YAML. Now, which one you will choose? really depends on what you're trying to well what your what your what your preferences are so i don't get hit by a branch what your preferences are but um json is is readable more readable i would say it's you can do comments on json sorry sorry yaml is more readable you can do comments on yaml you can do um let's say it's 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 more eye friendly to use yaml while json is more rigid it has it's less prone to errors because you don't have to care about tab spacing. You have to care about commas and, and quotation marks, but it's very difficult to read. In general, you can do the same things. Um, you can do the same things you, you do with, um, with both, B basically to support the same. So you write your uh, template. In that template, you put your resource, your EC2 instance, uh, where you define its logical name. This is just a logical name where you would um, say, hey, this is what I will be calling my EC2 instance within the template. Then you define uh, properties. Those properties are basically things um, like EC2 instance type. Are you going to use T2 micro, T3 micro, M4 large, whatever, right? Then also you define things like um, an image, an AMI image. Uh, your basically your um, your operating system you're going to be using on this EC2 instance. And also you can define a bunch of other things, things such as like a key pair where you're going to be which you're going to be using to connect to your EC2 instance, or you can uh, define like user data, a script that will be executed during the creation of that instance. So you could have done all of that through the console, absolutely. But it's much more manageable to do all of those things through code. So um, that's one thing. The other thing when it comes to, I'm just making a loop because this is the nice part of the forest. The other things when it comes to um, creating infrastructure as code or cloud formation is the fact that you can actually test your cloud formation code or in general you can test any infrastructure code uh, through a various uh, array of testing utilities. So uh, by treating your uh, infrastructure code or treating your cloud formation templates as any other application code, you can number one, put it in a Git repository, version control it. And number two, you can also do things like um, pass it through a pipeline where you will implement a lot of testing. So CloudFormation has a lot of testing tools out there. So from like do, doing things with CloudFormation Lint or CFN Lint, which is, you guessed it, a linter. <laughs> and there's also like things called CFN Nag, 
which is a great tool that looks at your code and detects potential um, potential insecure patterns, like an open security group or something like that. So again, links for all of those things I'm going to be talking about are going to be somewhere here. And I'm hopefully going to be showing how CFN nag and CFN looks just right here. Um, what else? Um, uh, if you want to actually test your SQL automation code through like a proper deployment to uh, like by deploying your code, you can use tools like Taskat. Taskat is a great little tool that enables you to actually test your code by deploying it to well to your AWS account. So um, um, that's a pretty great way to test it because not everything not everything on CloudFormation can be tested through static tests. So you would have to do something like that. So now, in essence, what do we have here? We have a piece of branch, <laughs> a piece of code uh, that that creates your EC2 instances, creates your S3 buckets, creates your any resources on AWS through just writing it in a text editor. Number one, this enables you to have a predictable and repeatable way of deploying infrastructure on AWS. Number two, it gives you the ability to test that code. And number three, well, it gives you the ability to create infrastructure from anything. Anything that can have a text editor on it, you should be able to do it. <laughs> if you can fire up your Amiga computer or even your Apple II and write a text file and then export that text file somewhere else, you effectively used a very old computer to provision cloud infrastructure. Very, very cool. Now, I'm not gonna use this chance, I'm not gonna use this case to compare CloudFormation to Terraform and CDK. I'm gonna do another video separate just to kind of compare those things and which one should you choose. But let me put it like this. If you don't have any development experience, if you don't have any scripting experience, and you want to get started with infrastructure code, it is the by means the best way to start by using CloudFormation because the code is very readable, it's very approachable, and you don't have to worry yourself, at least for the time being, with things like conditions, loops, reading off disks, etc., which you get with like CDK or Terraform. So yeah, um, that's uh, a seven minute mark here, I guess, uh, in, the, in my wobbly, my, my, my wobbly uh, video. But um, I'm gonna put a link a bunch of templates I, I've run before, and I'll probably put them on screen here so you can see how they look like. Um, but yeah, um, do check out CloudFormation. My, my suggestion to you, if you're starting with infrastructure code, start early, start as soon as you can. Um, there's an airplane flying by. Start early as you can. Um, get, even if it's a single instance, even if it's a bucket, if it's a single auto-scaling group, start with AWS CloudFormation. Or sorry, start with infrastructure code. It will help you do things much better in the long run. Well, um, I guess that's that. Until the next time, maybe the next video is going to be also in the forest. I'm not sure. But uh, we are losing leaves quite fast. And um, it's not going to be as pretty next time as now. So um, hope you enjoyed this uh, weird way of, of explaining what is CloudFormation. What is CloudFormation Forest Edition. Uh, and yeah, hope this video is not too wobbly as well. But I will be seeing you sometime soon. Bye-bye.